I'm going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's Snow Globe freebie and for that I'm going to be using a 4x4 hoop, two layers of wash away stabiliser, masking tape and some invisible thread for the uh, quilting. I've got sim threads for the satin stitching that go around the base of the globe and the, the ball of the globe and I've got matching bobbins for those. I've got squizzers my fabrics and batting cut size and also some transparent thin tablecloth and that's going to act as the glass for my snow globe. Start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabiliser and I like to pin mine around the top edge. It stops Place the it over uh, the, the outline um, there. stabiliser from being pulled down between the and hoop frames while it's, it's stitching. Load the file into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number one which is going to give you your placement outline. If you want to add a hanger, take your cord or ribbon, place it over the outline and then tape it in place. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line. And now place your uh, snow globe fabric over the top outline here and then you can tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Trim away the excess batting at the bottom of this stitch line here. And then you're going to place your uh, snow globe base fabric over the base. And then you're going to tape it in place as before. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. Trim away the excess fabric from above this stitch line here. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number five and that's going to zigzag along this edge. Next comes the quilting over this area of the snow globe. So change your thread to whichever colour you want for the stitching for that and then stitch round number six. You're going to add your backing so turn your hoop over and then place your fabric over the outline on the back and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number seven to secure it. Trim away the excess fabric from both the front and back of your hoop starting with the back We're now going to stitch round number eight and that's going to zigzag the raw edges You're going to stitch the satin stitch along the base of the snow globe here next so change your uh, bobbin and thread to whichever colour you want for that and then you're going to stitch round number nine and that's going to quilt along here and then do the satin stitching around the edge of it. You're going to stitch the satin stitching around the edge of the globe now so load your matching bobbin and thread for that into your machine and then stitch round number 10. Mm -hmm. 
We're now going to add the plastic and if you want to put anything inside as well I'm going to add beads to mine. Uh, I've already attached one string but I'm going to show you how to add um, them at, and why they're strung. Now when you come to stitch this if these beads are loose they're going to jump all over the place with the movement of the machine and you're probably going to lose most of them outside and not only that you don't want them your needle hitting any of them and breaking so I find my preferred method is to string the beads then I'm going to push one end through bring it through and then tie a big big knot just so that they can't uh, it can't pull through. Let's put this needle aside for a minute and I've got my other needle threaded as well. You can use one needle but I've just done two just for the sake of being easy. So take the other end and thread that two through as well and then I'm just going to add a little bit of tape over the end of that like so. So I've now got my two strings of beads. Just going to trim that a little bit. I'm going to place my plastic over the top and take it in place. Another method that you could use would be to stitch nearly all the way around and then um, with a funnel of some sort put whatever you're going to put inside through that if it will fit but I find this method just as easy and just as quick to be quite truthful with you right so I'm now going to place this into my machine and stitch around number 11 and that's going to do the decorative top stitching over the top of the satin stitch and it's going to seal all this in I'm going to turn my hoop over and remove the tape and just pull on these knots to pull the thread out and now all my beads are loose. I'm going to trim up the plastic from around here. Take care not to cut your stitching though. And we can now free this from the hoop. And that's the Shaker Snow Globe finished. If you're going to add something like glitter or salt or anything like that inside your snow globe, bear in mind that plastic um, retains static electricity, so it's going to stick unless you get rid of it. The easiest way is to get a tumble dryer sheet and wipe it over both sides of your plastic before you uh, place it over your work and then stitch it down. You're now going to remove all the excess batting from around the edge. So I've got some warm water and a cotton bud. I'm just going to go around and dissolve the stabiliser. I've attached by hand a piece of ribbon on the back to hang it and that's our snow globe finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas and inspiration there for everybody and thank you very much for joining me.